In the old days, a doctor would carry a blag with a stethoscope and a few other things. Now we have a whole hospital version that can fit in our pocket. So for example, a little attachment for the smartphone can do an ear exam for children who might have an ear infection. Or many patients have heart disease, and we, may, we might want to screen patients or monitor them. Now there's a simple case I can put on the back of a smartphone, and just by holding the case, it can record a live EKG. The future of medicine is not just mobile, it's connected, it's digital, it becomes ubiquitous, it becomes uh, something that everybody uh, is connected to almost all the time. Well, the smartphone is really uh, amazing exponential technology that fits in our pockets or now, you know, on your wrist. And it's not just the phone, obviously, it's the fact that now it's connected to the internet, it becomes a sensor, it can track everything from your steps to your sleep to your voice. Uh, to your behaviors, um, and so it becomes a tool for the individual, the patient, to be connected to their information, to communicate to their medical team. It becomes a tool for doctors and nurses uh, to use information to monitor their patients from remote ways to do telemedicine, because now the camera and the voice can all be transmitted in real time. We're seeing the integration of technologies that talk to your smartphone, the idea of a medical tricorder. Um, one of the companies that started here at Singularity University called Scanadu has made this version of a device that you use, you hold it to your forehead, talks to your smartphone, collects your vital signs, and integrates those over time. It'll, you'll start to learn what's your normal blood pressure, heart rate, and other information. And if you're getting sick, this can be used as a tool to help do triage. So in many ways, the smartphone can become a platform for diagnostics and helping manage disease as well. I might prescribe you a drug, but I'll prescribe you an app with that to help you track when to take the medicine or how to adjust it. In some cases, I may prescribe you just the app alone to help you manage everything from psychiatric disorders uh, to getting in shape. I might prescribe you a wearable device and help you track your steps, whether you're after, let's say, a knee surgery or you're just trying to get in better cardiovascular shape. I may prescribe you a headset that you can wear. Um, this tracks your brain waves. When you wear this headset, it's a brain-computer interface, and you can use this to help do meditation, uh, to manage depression, anxiety, and this will come with applications that help track the health of your brain, for example. So I think there are many ways that instead of just prescribing a drug or a device or giving you a pamphlet to read, I'm gonna give you smart, integrated information on an app that will help, let's say, manage diabetes together with the glucose monitor embedded in your smartphone. It might help you with a blood pressure device that lives on your wrist to help manage your blood pressure medicines. It may give you early warning when you're starting to get sick and don't even realize it. I don't think we're going to replace doctors with technology. We're going to augment them. We're going to make doctors, nurses, patients, family members smarter. We're in this era of big data, lots of data coming at us from genomics to wearable data. Now we can use tools like artificial intelligence to sift through all that massive data and make it useful information that we can use at home or in the hospital. So a lot of technologies are moving exponentially. I run a conference called Exponential Medicine with Singularity University. We look at how technologies are getting faster, cheaper, and better. One of those that's developing quickly into healthcare is 3D printing. I can take a Microsoft Connect and scan and print myself. This is Mini-Me, a little version of me. Now that's kind of nice to have on the shelf, but imagine if I have a patient who's missing part of their face, I can make a prosthetic that matches. Or if you have a fracture, instead of wearing a cast, I could scan your arm and now print a cast that matches your exact anatomy. So 3D printing is starting to blend with healthcare in interesting ways from orthopedic devices. So for example, I'm wearing underneath my shirt a little patch that can transmit my vital signs anywhere in the world. Uh, and that can lower costs. So instead of having to stay in the hospital, I can send somebody home uh, and track their data, whether they're a child or an adult. I've got an example of one of these patches right here. It'll be about you know, two or three dollars a day, and this can be used almost like an intensive care unit to, to send that information anywhere in the world. And it's a really new era. We have disruption happening in all sorts of other areas, from banking to transportation to music. It's starting to come into healthcare, where we can shift the equation from 
treating people after they get sick to treating them even before they get sick, something I call stage zero medicine. So that's what's exciting about being here at Singularity University, about exponential medicine, and about thinking about the future and reinventing this for everybody around the planet.